Hi, my name is Steel Horse, and this is my Dunk Master Darius guide. I will talk about Darius' his skills, passive runes, masteries, summoner spells, my first blood strategy, his level 6, team fights, build, skill order, and counters. Now let's start dunking. <laughs> Darius' passive, Hemorrhage. When Darius damages an enemy, this enemy will bleed for 5 seconds. You can stack the bleed up to 5 times. Upon applying 5 stacks or ulting someone to death, Darius gains Noxian Might. With Noxian Might, Darius gains bonus attack damage based on his level. Darius his Q, Decimate. Darius swings his axe around himself, dealing physical damage to nearby enemies. The damage is doubled against enemies hit by the blade, the red zone. Darius also heals himself and applies a stack of hemorrhage if he hits an enemy with his blade. For runes on Darius, I'd like to take attack damage marks, armor seals, CDR and magic resist per level glyphs, attack speed and attack damage quints. With my runes and build, you will get 40% CDR. For masteries on Darius, I like to go 0-12-18. I am taking those masteries because you don't need more damage on Darius. He's dealing damage with his passive and ult anyway. The tankiness of the masteries sure do help a lot. Also, the mastery Grasp of the Undying is necessary for my first blood strategy that I'm about to explain. For summoner spells I take Flash and Ignite. Because with Darius you need to snowball early game. My first blood strategy. First, start buying a corruption potion and a warding totem. Then start trading auto attacks. When you start trading, consume potions from your corruption potion for more damage and health regen. You will win trades because of the health regen from your refillable potion, your Q, and the grasp of the Undying. Try to get 5 stacks of hemorrhage on your opponent as fast as possible. At level 1 this will give you a bonus of 40 AD. That's huge on level 1. Also the bleed damage will be insane. If the opponent is low enough, ignite them to death. Most of the times they flash away but still die. Be careful if the opponent also uses Ignite, because you will heal less, but you will still win the trade. This first blood strategy works against Diamond and Master opponents, so will surely work in lower elo. There are two exceptions. Trundle and Olaf in their level 1s are too strong. Not convinced yet? Here is two more.
there is his W, Crippling Strike. W is an auto attack reset, so be sure to use it straight after an auto attack to maximize damage. W also slows the target by 90% for 1 second. Crippling Strike refunds its mana cost and 50% of its cooldown if it kills the target. Darius' his E upper hand pulls in all enemies in front of him, slowing them for 40%. If you time your E well, you can cancel enemy abilities like Lissandra's E or Nars Jump. Darius his ultimate, Noxian Guillotine. Darius leaps at his target enemy champion to execute them dealing true damage. For each stack of hemorrhage on the target, Noxian Guillotine's damage increases. If Darius gets CC'd at the moment he is in mid-air during his ult or when an enemy flashes away, his ult still goes through. Like you can see here against Joe Gat. Darius hits an enormous power spike when he reaches level 6. You should always try to get a kill on level 6. What I normally try to do is when I am level 5 and almost reaching level 6, I start attacking my opponent and during this fight I will turn 6 by dying minions. This minion will level me up, so I start going for Gnar. Also in this fight I need one more minion for level 6, but I had to run because of the Lee Sin gank. I am still able to turn this fight around because of Irelia's aggressive behavior. During team fights, you want to be the center of attention. You want the whole enemy team to go for you. During the time you are tanking and stopping the enemy frontline, your carries can deal damage for free. Like you saw here with the Koroki and Jasuo. Although you are tanking a lot, you will also deal tons of damage. And can solo carry a team fight if you can get 5 stacks of hemorrhage and resets on your ultimate. If Darius is fat, you can easily face a lot of opponents, even without ultimate. If you are sure about winning a team fight, for example when your team has a number advantage, feel free to pull some enemies. But don't use your pool for unnecessary purposes, because it has a pretty long cooldown.
during this team fight, I start to zone out the Oriana, and after that the Kalesta until I kill her. Here I try to pull away the invisible render. You should always try to zone out the enemies from your carries. Here I made a mistake by walking into the Baron pit instead of going for Oriana. Because of that she got her ult off and killed Lucian. For my build I start off with a corruption potion and a warning totem. Then I build Phage and magic resistance against a heavy AP team or armor against a heavy AD team. Depending on the enemy team's composition, I finish Deadman's Blade or Spirit Visage first. After that, I will finish my Black Cleaver and finish my core build. This is what my final build looks like. Other great and situational items to finish your build off with are Warmox Armor, Randuance, Guardian Angel and Maw of Momartius. For my skill order I max Q first, W second and E last. Always put a point in your ultimate if it's available. If you are playing against an enemy top lane and it's building a lot of armor, like Malphite, you can put some extra points in E early for the extra armor penetration. Counters on the top lane are Renekton, Gnar and Trundle. A good Gnar can kite around Darius. Trundle is a pretty strong pick against Darius as well, because when you are fighting, you will steal your resistances with his ultimate. Champions that can kite a lot are generally pretty strong against Darius, because you can't always reach them, like Fane, Kalista or this Aari. But when you do reach them, they won't be alive for long. Thank you for watching, I hope you have learned a lot. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And if you have any tips or questions, feel free to tell me in the comment section below. Have a great day.